going on guys? Alex here, Nick and Zana Landscape. Super excited to be bringing you guys this video today. We have behind us the brand new Ferris Spreader Sprayer. This is the FS5250 and it was just released yesterday. So a lot of you guys are seeing this for the first time. You may have saw it at the expo yesterday, but Rich is here with us to give us the full rundown and give us the specs on this unit. Awesome. Thanks Alex. So this is the new 5250, like Alex said. It is a totally redesign. The design on this is custom everything. So right down, we're gonna start right with the front. So if we look at the uh, the, the swath right here, we're looking at a, 10, a 12 foot bar versus our competitor with a 10 foot bar. If we look at the, the hopper right here, the hopper is a 250 pound hopper. Also, it's got a vibrator instead of an agitator in the middle, which keeps the fertilizer from getting ground down. If we look at where the, the paddle uh, motor is, the paddle motor is actually behind here and does not get exposed to the fertilizer. As a 12 foot wide swath, we have breakaway booms. So as you're hitting a tree or as you're hitting a, uh, a bush, you won't break the booms. Also, they lock backwards. So, that, so as we come around here, we'll go from the 12 foot boom instead of a 12, 10 foot boom. We have 40 gallon capacity on each side. That's a total of 80 gallons. If we're looking at one third gallon per thousand square feet instead of, uh, these are quarter gallon nozzles, but we're going to use one third gallon nozzle just for math. And one third gallon nozzles at 80 gallons capacity, we're looking at 240,000 square feet that you can cover in, with one fill-up. That's almost six acres. That's a, that's a lot. As we go around back, we look at the tires. If you look at the tires, the tires are a little bit wider. It's 61 inch total width, but, the, but because all the weight is lower and it's in between the tires, its actual footprint is lighter than what you, what you would see on the Z-Max or, uh, uh, or the Steel Green. As we walk around here, we'll come around to the back. We'll talk about the, uh, the operator presence panel. As you look at the operator presence panel, you have your on-off switch for your sprayer. Your sprayer boom on or off and it moves right with your finger so it's real, real easy. Your open-close for your hopper right here, real easy to use. You have your, your selector, whether it be left, right, or both. You can choose which, uh, which tank you're going to draw from or both. If you look at these divots right here that are in the, uh, in the tank, each tank, that's designed to hold a bag of fertilizer. So you have 250 pounds plus 50 pounds plus another 50 pounds. That's 350 pounds of product. At 12,500 square feet per bag, that's a lot of square footage that you can put down the end without having to uh, go back to your truck. This is all about saving time, increasing productivity, and getting the job done. Your side deflector is right here. Kind of goes up, up and down. Very simple, very straightforward. It's easy. It's right on the control panel, and you can set your speed. You have your speedometer control. You have your time, all that stuff right here, all your telemetry. You can adjust your, uh, your pressure right here because, as we all know, when you're putting down your... Uh, when you're putting down your spray, you want to make sure you're putting down the right amount, not too much, not too little. So you match your speed up with your PSI to get your proper uh, application rate. That's very nice having that speedometer right there because a lot of times with our spreader sprayer, we're guessing. Yep. You know, you, you, you're hoping. Yep. Of course, you do your calibration and your, your, but there's times where you may hit a bump and you speed up exactly. or whatever, and then you get off a little bit. And, Next thing you know, you're off on the whole lawn. Yep. The whole commercial property. And you know, we've, we've really thought this out. So you have a flag holder right here. Uh, whenever you're doing lawn applications, most uh, states most require you to put a put a flag out, let, let your customer know that you were there. Also, instead of a 75-foot reel, we have a 100-foot reel. And this 100-foot reel uh, goes from side to side, front to back. So if you think about how many square foot, if you back up to a gate because you can't get it through a gate, you pull this out all 100, 100 feet to spray everything you need to spray. We're going to go around to this side. If you look at the center of gravity, so right here, the center of gravity is lower. All your weight is in between the wheels. And so you can actually get a much, much uh, better incline with this without locking the casters even than you can any of the competition. By far, by far. And the proof is in the pudding. So. We're going to take this take on, it on, a, on, a, on a couple of really steep hills, and you'll be able to see it. And it's very, very safe. Um, so you get more productivity with 80 gallons instead of 60 gallons. You have a 12-foot wide swath instead of a 10-foot wide swath. 
you have the capacity of 250 pounds of product plus an extra 100 pounds. 100 pounds stays over the wheel so it's not behind like a competitor. I think it's the, uh, the balance of the machine as well. So being able to hold 80 gallons and you got your 250 in there and you got another 100 there, I mean, you can run around. If you're close to your shop, you can go all morning, do what you got to do, oh, come yeah. back, fill yep. it up, take off. You don't need that spare tank. Absolutely, absolutely. Or if you're doing a, a million square feet like where we're at here, yep. um, you can have your nurse tank and you're going back and forth, but you're going back and forth 20% less. A lot less. less. A yeah. lot less. If you're spraying a big property and you're there all day, that's that's probably one or two less times you're going to have to go back to the yep. truck. So. And then also, this, this this is built for the future, not just, uh, not just right now. So like, for instance, these little... Uh, these uh, these pockets are also we're going to be able to put two 10 gallon isolation tanks one here and one over there our competitors put their isolation tanks on the back and so that changes the weight if you think about an extra 20 20 pounds on the back that's 160 pounds at 20 at 20 gallons our our extra 160 pounds are actually right over the tires so as you increase the the weight you're actually getting better traction not worse traction especially yep. on hills right and the width of this thing is it's yep. unlike most. I mean, yep. it, like you said, we're going to put it to the test, but this should be able to hold a hill. Yeah, the width is 61 inches. And also, as we go to the front here, here we have a pivoting front axle. The point of that pivoting, pivoting front axle allows the machine to actually stay in contact with the ground as you're going down a steep hill or un, uneven surfaces. Also, we have tie downs. And if you look at where the, where the tires are, the tires are out further than our competitors. The point of that is actually increased hill stability as well. So not only are you getting more productivity, you're getting more safety, and you're getting uh, uh, just a better, a better machine. You know, this is this is not a me too. It's not what any of the industry has seen before. This is this is designed to flat out kick everybody else's butt. Yep. And I'll say that out just as plain as day. Yep. And I think it's going to do that. And I think there's a lot of there's a lot of areas that you guys did that. Um, yep. But I think like the vibrator. Yep. I mean, that kind of not up to know what that's coming on. Anymore. Else, but I have to do that. So that's, that's a very nice design. That's how that's all involved. Those motors, it's not the most expensive thing in the world, but they're not cheap. You don't yep. want to replace those yep. necessarily or free yep. so there is no, There's no impeller in here. So that vibrator, when we turn this on, it just vibrates it down. That's all it does. And it's, it's just unbelievable. Um, you know, the point of this machine is productivity, productivity, productivity. And uh, when, you're, when you're doing a million square feet, you're not charging the same as you would with a residential property. You're usually charging less per thousand square feet, right? right. So that productivity becomes even more important on larger properties when you're not charging as much per thousand square feet. So yep. you got to make up for it. you got to make up for it, yep. exactly. So. exactly. All right, Rich. Well, I appreciate hey. your time. Thank Thanks, you so Alex. Much appreciate for showing it. us around. And we're going to yep. take this thing off some hills and put it to the test.